Science and technology careers seem to be getting a bad rap among the youth of today, so much so that it's caused concern for government officials the world over and even here at home. But as Cayman 27's Andrew Harris finds out, there is hope for future generations. It seems STEM professionals are a dying breed here in Cayman and the wider world. We just don't have enough students in the pipeline studying STEM. Susan Nelson, the director of Sea Perch, an organization which uses underwater robotics to get kids interested in science, says over the years they've seen less and less students choosing STEM careers. The numbers are, don't lie and you might have um, only about 17 percent of students interested in STEM and by the time they get to college that number decreases substantially. Dr. Bill Rudy says that was once the case in Cayman. One of the problems on the island is that science has always been given the short end of the stick. And the second component is that the uh, uh, role models that kids have are essentially lawyers and accountants. However, since holding their annual STEM conference in 2012, he says it has ignited an interest in the hearts and minds of Kim Ann's youth. Has it made a difference? Absolutely. Roy Bodden, president of UCCI, tells me that the enrollment in um, science-related uh, parts of the uh, university are increasing in numbers. One such student is Beatrice Doria, an aspiring astrophysicist who believes things like STEM conference and Sea Perch is a step in the right direction. I like the initiative or bring more people to STEM because when you look at it, not many people even know what it is or what it's about and it's opening a whole new world for everyone. Andrew Harris, Cayman 27. A STEM conference was held here in May. Another is planned for October of next year.